Geico asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, Geico can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners or renters coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance, and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit UMGC.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. What's up? It's your boy, the Ben Smith. Thanks for listening to the Men's Room Daily Podcast. Want more? Check out the greatest podcast in all the land, the podcast. Be sure to subscribe and listen to a brand new episode every Tuesday night. Somebody out there deserves to be recognized. (laughs) And the Men's Room knows just who it is. So to you, we say, bottoms up, sailor. You're the toast of our shot of the day. Great time it is, and as usual, we head to the drink desk and see the throw hill to find out who we're toasting. Yes, indeed. Today we toast 21-year-old Dustin Cowns of Ramrod Key, Florida. Have you ever heard of Ramrod Key? I have not, but it yeah. must be down in the Keys. I'm I guess it's in the Key, but that's the car Ramrod. Yeah, Ramrod. Ramrod Key. Uh, well, Dustin, look, I don't know anything about the guy. He's 21 years old. I know that he owns a Jeep. And on Halloween, he's driving around, and I guess he pulled up alongside of another vehicle and started revving his engine hard like he wanted to race or something like this. Kept doing it. Kept staring at the guy next to him. Well, the guy next to him finally just says, I don't, I don't know why you keep revving your engine. You must have a small, for the purposes of this radio program, I will say penis. He used the D word. So, no, you must have a small D. But Dustin... He didn't do anything to convince this guy that he was not, in fact, a uh, uh, small endowed. Instead, he pulled out a gun and pointed it at the guy. He also held it sideways like he's in a 90s action movie. So that doesn't exactly disprove the manhood size theory. The problem with this is the other driver, of course, called the cops. And then Dustin was arrested for felony aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, carrying a concealed weapon and dealing in stolen property. The stolen property was the gun that he held up to the guy. And he's now in jail. Guess what? He, he answered his question about the small thing. Well, that was the whole thing. Once all that. And sideways. I mean, right. Nobody actually does that. Nobody. Well, not more than once, right? Yeah. That was always the thing. Like, all these guys, yeah, man. Like, bro, nobody fires a gun like that. Mm-hmm. Again, not outside of the movies. That's why it looks cool, because no one actually does that. Yeah. And he had a stolen gun. Anyway, <coughs> he will now be spending his time in prison where I'm sure some cellmates will get the 911 on whether or not he is, in fact, packing any heat downstairs. So let's drink to Dustin and his manhood. Mm-hmm. We pour this booze. Thank you, Ted. We pour <laughs> this booze and we drink this booze because we think it's yummy. Yummy. So over the tongue and down the throat to party in our tummies. Down the hola, bitch hola. Geico asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, GEICO can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners or renters coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance, and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today. Everyone is talking about Top Gun Maverick, and it's now the number one movie in the world. Outstanding! <laughs> it will leave you cheering. Yes! And is the ultimate summer movie experience. Damn right. Tom Cruise, Top Gun Maverick, ready PG-13. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit UMGC.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. The debauchery rolls on. You're listening to The Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. 99.9 KISW. Now for all TV news all the time, and it's time for TV Time with Tim. And now, because your pathetic life is confined to countless hours in front of a talking box. I'm again. The Men's Room presents TV Time with Ted. Ah! All right. Choices, choices, choices. Your choices today? The Jimmys, Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel. Seth Meyers. Okay, Seth on the list. Or Conan. 
Kelly oh, or yeah. Brian? Or Ted Smith. Yeah. Is it Ted or is it late? That's right. It's right there in the title. All these guys have teams of professional writers that come up with their monologues each and every night. It is up to you. To determine is this an actual late night joke and from whom, or could it be a V. Ted Smith original? Uh, a man was banned from Yellowstone National Park for trying to fry chickens in the hot spring. I'm too lazy to microwave a lean cuisine. This guy goes around Wyoming trying to cook a 12 piece. I hate that that story's real. I'm going to guess uh, Kimmel. I'm going to go Ted Smith. Jimmy Fallon. Oh, and here's something you don't hear every day. A, a man was banned from Yellowstone National Park for trying to fry chickens in the hot spring. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm too lazy to microwave a lean cuisine. This guy goes to Wyoming to cook a 12-piece. I don't know if you guys saw this, but Cheetos is selling a new holiday popcorn container that contains cheddar and flaming hot popcorn that features Chester the Cheetah and a Santa Claus hat. It's the gift that says... There was a Walmart between my house and your house. <laughs> Seth Myers? Uh, I'm going Myers. Yeah, Seth. Cheetos is selling a new holiday popcorn <laughs> tin, which contains cheddar and flaming hot popcorn and features Chester the Cheetah and a Santa Claus hat. It's the gift that says, there was a Walmart between my house and your house. <laughs> I told Jolly Joe. Thank you, Joe. He sent me that story. Uh, don't forget, you can order online at Smith Family Popcorn. Yeah, I'm not against it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tesla is now selling a $250 uh, bottle of tequila in a lightning-shaped bottle. If you're wondering how it tastes, just ask your local Bitcoin bro. <laughs> Seth Myers, Fallon. Ted Smith! Ted Smith! Anyone else find it strange? Send this to Miles today. I'm like, look, I like the idea. Everyone, don't drink and drive. Whatever you do, don't drink and drive. If you do drink, drink responsibly. I make cars and I make tequila. Mm -hmm. And I it make makes a self-driving car. car. Right. That's what I'm being like. I see what you're doing there. Here's a big business story. The owner of Arby's and Buffalo Wild Wings has bought Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins. They now have a monopoly on clogged arteries. Here's the plan. Duncan for breakfast, Arby's for lunch, Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner, Baskin Robbins for dessert. Then you drop your kids back off at their mother's house. <laughs> uh, Conan O'Brien. Jimmy Fallon. It's Fallon. Here's a big business story. The owner of Arby's and Buffalo Wild Wings is buying Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins. Wow, they now have a monopoly on clogged arteries. Here's the plan. Dunkin' for breakfast, Arby's for lunch, Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner, Baskin Robbins for dessert. Then you drop your kids back off at their mother's house. <laughs> Would you go to Carol Baskin Robbins? Is it still ice cream or is it tiger? We don't know. No. I will say, I thought that joke was harsh. That was the one that I kind of howled at at the desk. Early. That is funny. Right? But I went, ooh, <laughs> burn, but true. <laughs> Look, two things can happen. You know, mom says, hey, kids, you want to go to lunch? They go, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one thing. Dad says, you guys want to go to lunch? Yeah! Yeah, and honestly, like, it's more exciting. There's stuff to see at Buffalo Wild mm -hmm. Wings. Mm -hmm. Uh, Write-in votes for Kanye West and penis joke votes reportedly slowed down the Georgia vote count. So get your Jimmy out of those Yeezys and grow up already. <laughs> Details me. Yeah. yeah. That's me. <laughs> Pretty proud of that one. <laughs> it's not penis. It's peasies. <laughs> Little deezy. <laughs> get your deezy out of my Yeezy. Uh, Walmart is planning to replace its inventory, tracking robots with human workers. Apparently, the robots demanded better working conditions. <laughs> Seth Myers. Conan. Seth. Walmart is reportedly planning to replace its inventory tracking robots with human workers. Apparently, the robots demanded better working conditions. I can hold hands now. I'm the hand robot. <laughs> Man, I want to go over to somebody's house and like, is that the Japanese hand robot? What are you using that for? What are you using that for? For real, man. Right. Let me smell that thing. Oh, uh, yeah, it just, just, it just holds my uh, whiskey. Mm-hmm. Actually, what? I would do that. Have it hold a drink for you? Well, if it were like Thing from, was it Adam's Family? Was that Thing? Oh, the yeah. Oh, uh, no. Think, 
Was it? I don't know. I never cared for this. Either way, I didn't love it. But either way, if the hand could like go into the kitchen and grab the drink that I need and bring it back down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Then when I go to bed, it goes to bed with me. <laughs> Full service. Uh, so Anna Ferris was uh, a show was, was like the star of the show, Mom. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Uh, last. So basically, they're trying to figure out how to deal with her departure since she quit. She just basically quit. Did they say why she quit? No. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, mm, the episode started with her mother, played by Allison Janney, mm-hmm. who I like her. She's good. She's also the boy. Oh, God, what's the commercial she does? It's health care. You always hear her voice. I can't, it's something local-ish, I believe. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Uh, when you watch the anytime, and, and I don't remember who it is. It could be Swedish. It could be Provident. Whatever. You recognize. You go, oh, right. That's Allison Janney. Anyway, please continue. So basically, it starts with her dropping off Anna Ferris at the airport, flew across the country to go to law school at Georgetown, and then that's basically it. They're not going to kill off the character, and uh, Allison Janney's character will like make reference to what she's doing and this and that. But that's yeah, I'm with Miles. Like she quit the show, which is kind of tough. It seemed like it was amicable. I mean, whatever her reason was, it yeah. didn't really put up a fight. It's and the like, show's okay. I've seen a few. Like the, the kids kind of enjoy it. So I'll sit there with them. It's it's decent. I've never seen that one. It's fine. You know, I want to say Anna Ferris and her mom are both recovering alcoholics. Okay. And not that there's a lot of heaviness with this, but essentially their life is how how terrible Allison Janney was as a mom when Anna Ferris was growing up. But it's funny. You know what I mean? They never make it heavy or bad or anything like that. It's just, that seems to be the general premise of the show. Which yeah. is personally ironic. Why? Because I have a buddy that married into a very rich family because he was working at a liquor store in Georgetown. Okay. And this girl used to come in all the time and get wine and stuff. They end up dating, and that's how he married in. Damn. Because she was going to Georgetown University Law School. I'm getting a job at a liquor store. Okay. Yeah. They can't, they can't be cheap. No. Oh, no. 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 But no. that was the wedding I went to in uh, Miami. I went to South Beach. Never right. That explains it. <laughs> right. Trust me. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm always like, how did you guys meet? She was like, oh, she just came into the store. She was a drunk. <laughs> uh, so obviously, look, it, you know, whenever you work on a late night show, there's a lot of jokes about presidents. Of course. Right. I, you know, the Trump stuff, there's probably been a few more than usual. But, you know, that's par for the course. So one of the head writers from the Tonight Show, basically, she left. She was the head writer. So then uh, Variety is claiming that she left for a specific reason, uh, quoting her as saying the pro. The project of making fun of Trump or doing material about Trump has led to divided creative teams, anxiety, tears, and pain. I can't decide the outcome of this election, but I can decide a choice for myself to vote him out of my creative life. So basically, then she went to Variety and was like, can you take that story down? Because I guess it was like a private Facebook comments that she says were taken out of context. So it doesn't sound like Variety like had a story. It sounds like we found this blurb. We found this blurb of you talking to your friends. But I. You know, take Trump or being the president out of it. I think that happens to a lot of writing rooms with a lot of comedians. Yeah, it has right? to, right? Right. I mean, number one, you got to decide what your line is on certain humor. Is it going to be blue? Is it going to be clean? Is it going to be? You get tired of stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to write another Tiger King joke or whatever the topic is sure. that's been going on for months. You know. Yeah, exactly. Like how many? You know, let's say how, how many, many Tiger King jokes can I write? But also, even when it comes to politics, you know, it's like, look, and again, it doesn't matter who's in power. You're going to get made fun of. You can deal with that or you cannot deal with that. But anyone can take a joke. But certainly there's a point where you're like, I I don't want this particular joke. You know what I mean? Like this one, this one bugs me. And then you have to fight a room full of writers. But it's right. But things are so politically charged. Like I get it right now. Any other time has been fine. But things are absolute lunacy right now. So everything's a lot more eggshells. Right. Well, even with comedians, right? That's why they're always working on new material. Now, they'll they'll probably, you know, you probably still work in this or that, you know, like, I mean, bands are a little more, I wouldn't say pigeonholed, but like generally bands, you got to play the hits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's the beauty of being in a band. You know, look, if Kiss plays, and even though I hate the song, Rock and Roll All Night, it's a stupid song. They might like it. They might be sick of it. Either way, they don't really have to come up with new material. They have, but right. like they can just, and th- but that's the reason you go to a band, right? You'd be pissed if you went to see a comedian because people, man, I heard that joke before. Right, and that's the other thing I was going to say, too. I think comedians are just a little different in that, like, the, you know, how there might be things that you find funny, and I can guarantee you that that guy's already like kind of over it. Sure. Oh, and absolutely. Yep. Right. And it's, it's just different mediums of how things go. But the other thing is, you know, when you're in a band, you have one luxury. So if people bought tickets to see your band, 
You know they like the band, but you also know they already like the material. There's no new surprises. But when a band says, hey, we got a new one on our upcoming album, like a lot of people go get a new yeah, band. Okay. And, right, but if a comedian said, hey, here's an oldie but a goodie, you don't want to hear it. You know, you specifically go see a comedian because you want something new, which to me yeah. makes us so much more challenging. A couple of comedians do have, but they're older school. They do have that uh, thing where they they dive into their regular stuff at the sure, end. Sure, sure, sure. And it's just like yeah, Jeff Fox, where they saying the the red net jokes or well, uh, if you have like a catchphrase right, or something. Exactly. Like I've seen Bert Kreischer a few times, mm-hmm. right? And like, first of all, Bert loves to drink, but <laughs> drunk dude, stop yelling the machine. He'll tell the story. Right, right. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. he he kind of has to tell it at almost every show he does. Now, with that said, there's still the excitement. I mean, Christ, I've seen him two or three times. It's still fun to watch him physically tell the story in front of you. Right, right, but, right. Miles, yeah. you're exactly right. Like, he's so famous for that. He he kind of has to I mean, to Andrew do it. Dice Clay always does his nursery rhymes. And actually, you know what? His stand-up is still pretty funny. I watched him the other night. I was like, okay, this is still funny. It's not as cutting as it was then. But he still has funny jokes. They're different, but he, then he goes into that routine. Yeah, you know what? For me, I never really got into him. He was huge when I was probably a little younger. Sure. And then I, like, I've seen him on shows where he's just kind of him being him, which I like. But his stand up to me, like, I, I, I it's just, sticky. It and it's I just, very yeah, sticky. for me, I'm just like, I just don't get it. He's one liner. He's putting his hand around his head or his arm to smoke a cig. Like, just smoke the cig, dude. Right. Uh, by the way, real quick, suck down a dart, suck it down. Uh, Alice and Jenny. Kaiser Permanente, thank you. Oh. Everyone on earth, apparently. Who knew? Mm. <laughs> I just looked at the screen. All of a sudden, Kaiser. I'm like, what about Kaiser? Oh, right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> right. So the next time you see a Kaiser Permanente commercial, that is Allison Janney's voice. Uh, I would also say, talk about Burt Kreischer. I know I've brought it up in the office. I don't think I've talked about it here, though. Uh, I watched his whole season of his show, The Cabin. So the whole yes. idea, again, is that he's, he's burnt out, so he's going to go up to this cabin. Obviously, it's a little fake. And his wife is, you know, he like zooms in with his, not zooms in, but video calls his wife. And basically he goes to this cabin, which also it's Bert, so it's funny. It's like somewhere in the woods. And it's like outside of Beverly Hills. Right. And it's just him. But he invites up other comedians, other actors. And yeah. they, they do some outdoorsy type stuff. He's trying to be uh, very peaceful with his soul and everything. So there's like one scene with like singing bowls and stuff. But like the other two dudes don't care about that. Right. And, I, and I'm into a lot of that stuff. But. If people aren't into that, it's hard to, you know what I mean? It's like, like you could take somebody to a church. If they don't care about it, then yeah, they don't care. It. Right, yeah. so the same thing with some of the spiritual stuff. Like, eh, you know, if yeah. Miles doesn't care, I'm not going to take him to a, to a, I don't know. A almost, nutcracker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was your, you volunteered for that man. No, I bought the tickets. But the cabin is pretty funny. There's a few good episodes, and uh, it's Bert Kreischer, so expect some nudity from Bert. Always. <laughs> That's a good Always. warning, though. Yep. That's a good warning. Yeah. That guy takes his clothes off a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if I say to you, Michael J. Fox, Tina Yothers. Family ties. Family ties, exactly. Yeah. Uh, family- Justine Bateman, was she on there too? She was. Okay. She was. Meredith Baxter mm-hmm. Bernie and. What's his face? His dad's, dad's right? No, the guy's. Grossman? That- no, song- it's. Uh, isn't it. Uh, Oh, God, the singer's dad, right? No, it was Michael Gross. Oh, it was Michael, Michael Gross. Gross. Oh, that's yeah. right, that's right. Michael J. Fox was Alex P. Keaton. <laughs> Family Times reunion is happening on uh, Tuesday night to benefit the Actors Fund, which basically supports people in the uh, artistic community who are in need. So, Michael Gross, Meredith Baxter, they're coming back. Michael J. Fox will be there. Tina Yothers. Do you remember the nerdy guy? Boner. Skippy. Skippy. Damn it. Yeah, Boner was a different Skippy. show. <laughs> it was sorry, man. Sorry. Skippy. There was a Boner at the same time, but he was on. Uh, Who was Boner on? What was the show? Because he played the same role. He wasn't part of yeah, the family. Yeah, there's always a nerdy but, friend. Right. Mm-hmm. Was Boner? That's not Wonder Years. That was Paul. That was Paul. Oh, damn it. I mean, Marilyn Manson. <laughs> and I was like, that's Marilyn Manson. Was like, that I, Growing Pains? Growing, growing Pains. pains. Okay. That was the other. That's where I was confused, thinking Alan Thicke. For the dad. I got that right. crossed. No, you're, see, see what I'm saying? So like, Alan Thicke was Growing Pains. Yes. Yeah. We both got the so same show thick, crossed. You have Boner. Really. Right. You have Growing Pains. I'm just Apparently, throwing it out there. These two shows are very confusing for us. So the funny thing is you brought up Justine Bateman, uh, Mallory oh. Keaton. Apparently uh, she's not going to be there. Unless she gets at it later. And uh, Brian Bosnell, who is the youngest Keaton kid, Andy, he's not in there either. 
Okay. They don't really have a reason why. It sounds like it can't what, be are they getting together for any reason? Are they going back to? Are they going to be on Netflix? Are they just doing They're it getting, as a reunion to just for the fans? Like, is it an episode or is just them together to benefit the actors' fund? Okay, <laughs> so they're just doing it as a charity thing. Yes. Okay. So I thought I said that. Well, you might have. I you just did. Said, I, I didn't know, know, like, are they doing an yeah, episode right. or? No, I think just they're just doing. I mean, I'm retrospective sure. kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just. Look it up. I'm sure it's it's going to be an online thing. Kind of like Miles, you were correct about the table read. For some reason, I thought they were remaking Fast Time at Ridge, Ridgemont Highs. They were just rereading it or High. Yeah, yeah. Highs. Highs. You're officially old too. Oh, I know. Fast Time at Ridgemont Highs. Holy. We got a big Friday night ahead of us, by the way. That's right. We do. Heading, heading to the grocery store. Get out. Of all here. right. Oh yeah. Typically empty on Friday night. You'll be all right. Yeah, I'm going to be in and out. That's a lie. I'm going to take my time and look at stuff. You can't you go always into a grocery time, store dude. and be in and out. I'm going to wander a grocery store yeah. like the Smithsonian. Like, yeah. ooh, look at this thing I'm not possibly going to buy. Yeah. But. You check out everything, even if you don't need it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like to look around. What is that? Yeah. I'm going to look at, right, I'm going to look at a lot of taste of things. Mm -hmm. Do you talk out loud in the grocery store to yourself? I think I have before. Yeah, I was going to say. Like, don't you, you guy ask other like, people, like, what's what in their What is that? Have you tried it? Oh, I'm talking to the box so, of cookies. I have done this. I generally don't, but there was a famous time. <laughs> I want to say it was around a holiday, and I, like, I had injured myself. Either way, we had to get a prescription, so I'm with Miles' wife over at a grocery store, and I just look over and go, you guys are having a goose for Christmas? <laughs> like, what else? And like, and then she was just like, like kind of nudged me, like, are you going to ask them what everything in their cart is? Like, sorry, I didn't realize I was doing that. <laughs> You're like the people in the commercial, there's the, uh, what, oh, God. He's a guy, like, I teach people not to become their parents. Mm -hmm. So oh, hard yeah. Like, you're that guy. Like, Ted, they don't know you. They don't know you. Right. It's Fitting okay ask, if they have a goose. Ask for help. He walked in the other day, first thing, he's like, Migs, what do you know over there? And he'd say, I don't. <laughs> well, I heard the crumple of a bag, so what are you munching on? I know, every time Mike reads a story about, like, a fight or a shootout in a pizza shop, like, what'd the guy order, though? What was the topping that set him yeah, off? Right. I often wonder the same, though. Yeah. Yeah. Pineapple. Mm. <laughs> Uh, the Borat movie, obviously, people have been watching it. It's already been streamed by tens of millions of customers. Uh, it's hard to tell. Like, the numbers don't come out, like, going to a movie theater, but... Right. I mean, for what I could tell on social media, it seems like half the country's watched it already. Has anybody here seen it yet? No. Not yet. No. I'm going to watch The Mandalorian tonight, so that's... Can't do it tonight. I'm going to double down tonight. I still haven't seen the first episode of Mandalorian. I'm not sure what I think about that yet. You'll have to give me your opinion on that, because I know you're a Star Wars fan. All right, well, you are, too. I know, but I'm just curious before I go opening my big mouth. See, now I'm going to have to watch it. Yeah. Because you make me think, like, I don't know. Um, just don't make the kid too cute. Yeah. Okay. I don't like anything. I've never seen a Star Wars. But the little baby thing's pretty funny. <laughs> baby Yoda. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The thing is, one of the funnier things about Baby Yoda, to me, is just this. John Favreau and all the writers on the show are like... It's not goddamn Baby Yoda. We did everything we could to stop people from saying Baby Yoda, but no matter what we did, it's like, it's just Baby Yoda now. You, so, you but they had to convince themselves just to accept the fact of, like, actually, it's not Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda's not Baby Yoda. So, like, it's... Look, I know nothing about Star Wars, but I know that's Yoda's Yoda. kid. You can't give the nickname. That's not yours. Other people give the nickname. Not you. You know what I mean? Like, even if it's your property. You, 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 no. Who's that little three-fingered booger right there? Right. Better tell that to the sauce man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you going to watch this weekend? Uh, watch Saturday Night Live. Number one, Chappelle's hosting. Yep. Number two, Foo Fighters. And oh, that'll be good. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. We appreciate it. You're listening to The Men's Room. Geico asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, Geico can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners or renters coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance, and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today. Top Gun Maverick is the number one movie in the world. Damn right. It's an absolute blast from start to finish, and one of the greatest movies ever made. Having any fun yet? Tom Cruise, Top Gun Maverick, rated PG-13. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. Men's
Bathroom returns with Miles and Thrill. Now, let's see what's happening in the real world. All right, here we go. If you get it, uh, if you have a ton of drugs, stacks of cash, and a load of gun in your car, best not to fall asleep at a stoplight. Meanwhile, two groups get into an argument in Scotland and blow up bombs and fire rockets into the night. After missing for eight straight days, teen found hiding in a closet at a friend's house. Man takes sex toy for a test run, not having a spouse. And a Michigan couple finally has a baby girl after having 14 boys. It is time for your headlines. Now, it's time to hit the head. Lines. Here's my car. All right, top story. We got a Michigan where a couple has just welcomed their first baby girl into the world. The thing that makes the story newsworthy is just what Miles said, is that although this is their first girl, it is far from their first child. The couple have brought 14 children into the world before this young lady, all of which were boys. 14. Mm-hmm. I love my daughter. And I can't... But if I had 14 boys before her, she would not exist. Right. That's kind of what I was... I no. looking through the story, looking for like, okay, were they trying to have a girl this entire time? Like, are they done having kids now that they had the girl? They, there was no indication that, right. okay... There it is. Yay, we made yeah. it. I think their oldest was 28, is what they said. So Something he like he got that. married. I right, think right. they have grandkids. Oh, I'm so sure they do. I mean, there's more than just that. And they moved on to their property. What? Yes. Like, they built a house right down the street on their dad's farm, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, man, oh, man. Good See, Lord. here's the thing. I want to know what the heck these two parents do that they can afford raising 14, 15 children. She is a doctor in sociology. He is a lawyer uh, who graduated from, uh, I can't remember, like Western Michigan University, but is also a law professor and practices. So that's what he does. Damn. Yeah. But did all your homework, Miles. Yes, I did. But think <laughs> of all the additional money they could have had. Well, because right. I, I have the same question. You, having a child is expensive. Yes. So I have the exact same. First of all, they're in Grand Rapids, which is not the most expensive place in the world. All right. Yeah. So they have a big piece of property. They're both highly educated. I just wondered. That's exactly what I wondered. How, do you, like feed, how do you feed right. all these kids? So Maybe I was they curious don't. what they did. We feed uh, right, exactly. one every other day. Right. <laughs> we feed 10 out of 15 a day. And to switch it up. Oh, it's fasting day for me. Oh. Yeah, here's a couple words those kids will never hear. Disney World. Oh, yeah, it's hell right. no. Hell no. <laughs> Good Lord. Drop 100 Gs just to go for a weekend. I want to see the bumper sticker they put on their car. You know, people have like, you know, the stick figures of their oh, family yeah. makeup. That is a long, that's the entire bumper. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. In other news, we go to California where a driver had a little too much fun. The driver was found later on in the night stopped at a stoplight. Police eventually approached the car after it didn't move from its position to find that the driver was passed out behind the wheel. During a search of the car, the officers found a loaded weapon and a litany of drugs inside. The driver was taken into custody and faces a ton of charges. I bet he does. I just, I made this comment earlier. It is one thing to just nod off at the wheel. It is Mm. another thing entirely to be stopped at a stoplight. And I guarantee he wasn't in park, and that's got to be a dangerous thing. Sure. But he is completely passed out to the fact that these cops felt the need to walk up there, have a look-see, and they found everything without waking him up. They were just peering in there. He didn't see a doggone thing. So how much fun were you having to where you just completely passed the F out right there behind the wheel? Great time. I guess. I mean, it obviously wore himself out. He had fun up until then. Right. And again, the panic there is that this guy is sitting there in his car is engaged. He just has his foot on the brake. Like, you need to wake this guy up gently, bef- otherwise right, he's going to... foot doesn't slip off. Right. He's going to rock it off into the night and probably crash. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. <laughs> you, can you tell that I've dealt with this situation? Sounds like yeah. it. <laughs> this is terrifying. Uh, over in Scotland, they're cleaning up after the annual day of destruction known as Guy Fox Day. Oh, yeah. For those semi-familiar familiar with the day, it was brought to mainstream attention with the film V for Vendetta and centers around November 5th, or as a lot of people will call the it. 5th of November. The 5th of November. The area, uh, sorry, oh, yeah, the area The area powers annually through gangs of people setting off fireworks and explosives aimed at civilians and drivers on the road. It's basically a day of massive anarchy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the name of, uh, of uh, Guy Fox. Revolution. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I actually saw that movie in a theater. Yeah. Right. Really? Yeah. Way back in the day. Way back in well, the I'm just day. Saying, I never go to a movie theater. Theaters. What is that? <laughs> I had a couple friends that really took off with that. They 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 really kind of dove into the into the literature of, of Guy Fox and, and all and how all that happened. I have a light up uh, mask of his. Light nice. up. I dig it. Yeah. yeah. Shiny. I like to wear it backwards. It'll freak people out. <laughs> Which it's like way? You're staring at him, right? It's like, oh, hey man, it's just me. <laughs> I found anonymous. 
right. Speaking He's of, in the beer garden. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of fireworks, an arsonist in North Carolina just had an, an on-the-job hazard reminder. Surveillance footage caught the man with a pry bar and a gas can breaking into an office building of an RV resort. Shortly after this, uh, there is a massive explosion and the burglar can be seen running out of the building holding a bag of cash while he's engulfed in flames. Bag of cash burned, by the way. Yes, it did. Yeah. <laughs> his feet so were on his fire feet. and the bag of yeah. cash. Everything that could go wrong went this wrong. This guy storms though. in and it's got a nice video footage of him just pouring it all over the computers, all over the chairs. This guy had to have worked there. That's my who, guess. Who targets an RV park mm-hmm. and knows where the cash is at to where you can make that quick of a move? Yeah, it was real personal, it seemed. But he's not very good at it. Mm-hmm. No, he's not. No. First of all, even if you let your feet on fire, you can put those up. Like, bro, you took the time to steal the cash and then you lit it on fire. Right. <laughs> Good work. Also, like, how much cash is at an RV park? Exactly. Yeah, it must have been rent time or something like that. It is. Right. Beginning of the month, I guess. Maybe that's what yeah, it was. Yeah. I figured it would uh, have cash. All right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Not bad. But even then, I, I agree with Ted. You're just... I can't imagine that the hall's all that good. I mean, maybe they're not taking it to the bank at the end of the day, but... Yeah. And then... not Depends to on how big the RV park is. This is somebody, obviously, who also doesn't know how exactly gasoline works when it comes to fire. It's not about the liquid that you're pouring. Right. It's about the gas, the literal gas that is in the air. That's why everybody pours themselves a trail when they're lighting their, their burn piles on fire. Didn't you learn that as a kid the hard way? Come on, man. All right, are you ready for this? Elon Musk is at it again. The man has contributed to many of the world's creations, mainly his electric car company, Tesla. Well, now he's diving into an all-new venture. Are you ready for this? Alcohol. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The company will soon be distributing their own booze. What do you guys think that uh, old Elon Musk will be making? Tequila, if- right? What do you think it said? My writers say tequila. Oh, not bad at all. <laughs> Simply called Tesla Tequila, the booze will come in a lightning bolt shaped bottle and will only be available in a few states California, New York, and Washington State. That's, uh, that's those are. Tequila drinking states. That is a fact. It's also 250 bucks a bottle. About to say, for the whole oh, price that better be the best tequila bottle. you've ever had in your so life. I won't be drinking it unless you offer me some. The bottle is something you should be able to save. And the thing is, Miles, is I fully believe that just because, really, I feel like whatever he puts out on the market is really some of the best stuff that you experience. So I absolutely want to try this tequila. Okay. I think it's going to be fantastic. Mm-hmm. That is it for your, for your headlines. With that, Mike Hawk is out. Thank you, Mike. We appreciate it. We're out of here. But Joel, uh, enjoy the weekend. We'll see you next week. Don't forget, live day is uh, Tuesday. If you oh, want yeah. those uh, halftime Zoom room tickets, go to KISW.com now. In the meantime, we be all about this bit, so please do what you do best. And for Aletha's sake, stay beautiful. The men's room has been taped before a live studio audience. Wardrobe and makeup provided by Mantastic Limited. This has been a presentation of the Men's Room Radio Network. Oh, man! A double flush production. We're the mighty rock. A radio.com station. Pacific Northwesterners and the weird cat in the driveway. Meow, meow, meow. 99.9 KISW and KISW HD1. Seattle. Geico asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, Geico can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners' or renters' coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance, and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit UMGC.edu. Certified to operate by Chev.